In this video, I'm going to discuss how learning another programming language can help you develop and deepen your PHP skills. To jump into this discussion, let's mention a couple of the languages that are out there that have a similar route to PHP. So we're looking at Java, JavaScript, ActionScript, Python. I'm not saying they're the same, but they do have a common base and they do have a lot of uh, common functionality and constructs. So for instance, all these languages are pretty much object oriented. All these, so you, all these languages have the concept of a class and all these languages do error trapping and all these languages have functions or methods. So the point to take away is that though these languages share a similar root and they deal with similar programmatic constructs like classes, functions, arrays, etc. Each one does or approaches these things in their own unique way. So when you look at, for instance, a class in ActionScript and you see how they handle it, and you look at a class in PHP and you look, you see how PHP handles it, you're basically looking at the same construct from a different angle. And by looking at this construct from different angles, it will give you a much deeper insight into the basic construct of a class. I found over the years by learning different languages that approach the same constructs from different angles, I found that it gave me a deeper knowledge much more quickly than I would have gotten otherwise, I think, if I had just stuck to one programming language. So am I suggesting that you should uh, pull away from PHP and maybe jump into something like a Java or C Sharp or .NET. Not at all, unless you, of course your project demands that. I think and know and believe that PHP is the predominant web programming language today. And if you're doing web application development, you probably want to be doing PHP when it comes to your server side stuff. What I suggest that instead of looking at a C Sharp or a Java, which will give you that insight I spoke about before, what I would do instead would be to choose a complementary language to PHP. So I would look at something like JavaScript. Why? Because with JavaScript you have Ajax and you have DOM scripting, so you can have all this interactive widget stuff on your websites. And you have JSON, which is a way of moving data to and from the server in a way that it's in a JavaScript format, but we'll leave that to another video. So you see that with JavaScript, it works well with PHP. So if you learn JavaScript, not only will you give yourself more insight into PHP, but you also will be learning a very usable skill that will complement your PHP work. Another example of a complementary language to PHP is ActionScript. ActionScript, of course, is the language of Flash. And Flash is used a lot today for rich internet application development, RIA as they call it. And on top of the basic Flash structure, if you will, you also have something called Flex, which is really something for programmers who want to really integrate Flash-based UIs and Flash-based engines with backend stuff like PHP. Today, the marriage of Flash technology and PHP is even deepening more with Zen partnering with Adobe to create a better integration of Flex with PHP. In fact, the Zen framework, I believe, is now shipping with uh, the Flex framework. So you got a real nice marriage between PHP and Flash, something deeper than we've ever seen before. So by learning ActionScript, you will be again complementing your PHP skills. So I'm just going to wrap this up by saying whatever complementary language you do choose to learn, if you like, if you prefer just to jump into Java because it's your taste, that's fine. You'll find that learning this language will give you a much deeper understanding of programming in general, and thus PHP. And it will give you insight into PHP much more quickly than you would otherwise have gotten. This, again, this is based on my personal experience. 
And the reason this is the case is just because you'll be looking at similar constructs from different angles. So you'd be looking at classes from different angles and so on. So I hope you found this video useful. My name is Steph Mishuk with KillerPHP.com and KillerSites.com. I'll see you next time.